The Trident II nuclear missile is a United States thermonuclear missile that is launched from an Ohio-class nuclear-powered submarine. The missile is referred to as an SLBM, which stands for Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile. That means it can be fired from anywhere a submarine can venture. Its length is 44 feet 6 inches, and its diameter is 6 feet 11 inches. Its maximum speed is Mach 24, which is 18,030 miles per hour, or 5 miles a second. That translates to 29,020 kilometers per hour, or 8.06 kilometers per second. It has a maximum range of 7,500 miles, yet its exact range remains classified. It is said to have an accuracy of within 100 meters of its target after traveling its maximum distance. For a nuclear weapon, that is a direct hit. It can carry from 1 to 8 W88 475 kiloton thermonuclear multi-independently targetable re-entry vehicle warheads or several other combinations of warheads. There are 14 United States Ohio-class submarines that carry the Trident II, and each submarine can carry 24 missiles. However, as of 2017, that number has been reduced to 20 in order to stay in compliance with the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. There are also four British Vanguard-class submarines that each carry 16 Trident II missiles. The Trident II is launched underwater. After breaking the surface, its solid rocket engine ignites, and once the missile reaches top speed, it will cover over 3,000 miles in 10 minutes. That's 4,828 kilometers in 10 minutes. As an example, the distance from the middle of the North Sea to Moscow is about 1,300 miles or 2,150 kilometers. The Trident II could cover this distance in about four and a half minutes. Nothing could survive the eight thermonuclear warheads, each with a blast yield of 475 kilotons. Here on Nuke Maps, a Trident II would look something like this, starting in Hiroshima. I'm going to start with the 15 kiloton nuclear bomb explosion over Hiroshima, the same one they used in 1945. You can see here the flashing white, that's the fireball radius. Everything underneath that would be instantaneously incinerated. The next layer, heavy blast damage with a radius of 339 meters. Everything would be destroyed within that circle. The next one is radiation radius, 1.2 kilometer radius. Then we have moderate blast damage. The radius is 1.67 kilometers. Out here is the thermal radiation with a radius of 1.91 kilometers. Everybody at this range would receive third-degree burns. And then we have the light blast damage radius of 4.52 kilometers. Now I'm going to switch out the 15 kiloton bomb with 475 kilotons. Detonate that over Hiroshima. You can see what a huge increase in damage that a single 475 kiloton warhead can do. Everything in the fireball radius would be instantaneously vaporized. The heavy blast damage radius 100% casualties, the radiation radius, very likely fatal, moderate blast damage, this far out, which covers the entire city, thermal radiation radius, third degree burns, and a light blast damage radius of 10.8 kilometers. And remember, a single missile, Trident missile, has eight of these thermonuclear warheads on it. So imagine eight of these radius circles covering an entire area. What I want to do now is compare this 475 kiloton warhead to the Tsar bomb that was detonated. I will detonate the Tsar bomb over Hiroshima. Here we go. And you can see what a massive difference that is. That takes out a huge part of Japan. What I want to do now is see what damage the little boy atomic bomb can do to a city like Beijing, China. Let's detonate that. You can see it does extensive damage, but compared to the size of the city, that's not a lot of damage. Now I want to detonate the 475 kilotons, which is equivalent to a single warhead on the Trident II missile. I'll detonate that. So you can see it does much more damage, but it's still small compared to the size of the city. 
However, eight of these blast radius circles, imagine eight of those in this area, that would take a huge chunk of that city out. Now I want to see what a single czar bomb can do to a giant city like Beijing, China. Detonate that. That does extensive damage. Takes out a huge portion of the city. Next I'm curious to see what the effects of Little Boy are on a city like Moscow in Russia. Detonate that. You can see that does extensive damage to the center of the city of Moscow at 15 kilotons. Now I've changed the blast yield to 475 kilotons, which is equivalent to a single warhead on the Trident II missile. Let's detonate that over Moscow. Does much, much more damage as you can see here. And there's eight of them on a single Trident II missile. So imagine eight of these circles in this area. So if this is correct, it would mean that a single Trident II missile could pretty much make the city of Moscow disappear. Now out of curiosity, I want to see what the Tsar bomb would do to Moscow. I'm going to detonate that. You can see it would not only take out Moscow, it would take out all of its surroundings. Now I'm going to go up to the location where they tested the Tsar bomb. So I'm going to drag this up over here. The Tsar bomb was detonated somewhere right in here. I'll zoom in and try to find it. And the way I find the location is I look for this horn, then I go to the east. I look for what I call Arrow Lake, because it's kind of shaped like an arrowhead. I zoom in, and then I head west to what I call the smashed pear. This reminds me of a smashed pear. And if I remember my coordinates correctly, the Tsar bomb detonated about two miles above the ground, right here. So now I'm going to detonate Little Boy Atomic Bomb in this location. Let's see what happens. You can see the blast radius right here, which actually looks large compared to this terrain. I now change the blast yield to 475 kilotons, which is a single warhead on the Trident II. Detonate that, and you can see it's a much bigger blast radius. right here where they detonated the Tsar bomb. Now I want to see how big the Tsar bomb is in this location compared to these other ones. Here we go, detonate, and there it is. The Tsar bomb, according to nuke maps, was this big when they detonated that bomb decades ago. So there you have it. A brief explanation of the United States UGM-133 Trident II thermonuclear missile right here on the Forrest Haggerty Channel.